Hey there, friend. Thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video where I ask the viewers to choose only one. And we are featuring revolvers. All right, now I am categorizing this into certain sections. So choose that particular section or that particular revolver. Really doesn't matter. I think this one will be a lot of fun and it was highly requested. Before we get into that though, the last Choose Only One video, there were so many comments and the majority chose the CZ Shadow 2. We featured full size all metal frame handguns. The CZ Shadow 2 took it, that's no surprise for me. I kind of figured that. The other three got a lot of attention as well, but I just knew that would happen. Let's check out the revolvers. I think you'll like the way this is put together. Let's start with a snub nose revolver or a duty revolver or CCW revolver. I wouldn't pocket carry this, it's a bit large. It's made by Alpha Praj in the Czech Republic, imported by Rock Island Armory. It's called the AL 3.0 MSRP, 700 bucks. You can see it has a rubber grip there, nice feel. It's a six shot 357 Magnum. And this thing packs a wallop. A two inch barrel, ramped up front sight, tunneled rear sight, single action trigger, right at four and a half pounds, all blue. They also make this in stainless, but it's a nice revolver. I, every time I've had it out, it, it's functioned really well. Snub nose or duty revolver is where this would qualify. Here's another duty revolver. It's called the Taurus Defender 856 Ultralight, and it is light. Much lighter than the AL 3.0 I just showed you. But this has a 3 inch barrel, highly requested by revolver fans of Taurus. They said, hey, you know what, make that 856 ultralight with a 3 inch barrel. And they did, and they added a tritium front dot. This is a matte stainless finish with a whole rubber grip. They have a whole series now. It's a 6 shot 38 special. It will accept plus P loads. And it's a nice shooter as well. You know, nice, crisp, single-action trigger pull right at five and a quarter pounds. But overall, the duty revolvers seem to be very popular amongst shooters. How about a plinking revolver or even a new shooter revolver? Great to get people into the shooting sports. This is a Diamondback Sidekick. It's a nine-shot. It comes with two cylinders, 22 long rifle and a 22 magnum cylinder, and they are easily switched out. But here it is. It's a nine shot revolver with a four and a half inch barrel. Nice single action trigger pull. All revolvers have nice single action trigger pull. Can we just agree on that? But this is cowboy action looking, but it's not really cowboy action because I just showed you it has a swing out cylinder. But nine shots, that's pretty good capacity. And you're looking at, you know, right around 330 bucks MSRP. I think it's a fine shooting 22 revolver. Here we have a big bore revolver called the Magnum Research BFR. Big frame revolver. This one's chambered in 4570 government and it is a beast. You can see it has the cowboy action loading gate there. It's a five shot 4570 with a seven and a half inch barrel. And the single action trigger pulls right at four and a quarter pounds it has a rubber grip there and the optic i have here is a name point 5000 it's a bit older but it works great and if you love that the power in your really hands something. you love that Let's recoil that punching you back a little bit you wow. want to to take Makes out any size game in the u.s down. with perhaps the 4570 they make many different caliber offerings then this would be for you because it is so much fun how about a classical, historical, high-value revolver? This is the one I really wanted to bring out. This is a Colt Python. A beautiful revolver. In 357 Magnum, the shooting of it, the trigger, the, the way it looks, the history behind it, those vents on top of the barrel, full underlug, the Colt Python grips, and the single-action trigger. is It's a hair trigger. It is so nice. Now, the price of these and the overall cost has skyrocketed. And people said once Colt starts making these again, it's actually going to drop. It didn't. It actually went up. It increased 
and value because these were all hand fitted by professionals at their art. And if you're into classical high value revolvers, then you'll definitely choose this one here, the Colt Python. We're looking at two pocket revolvers, both chambered in 22 Magnum. Here is the switch gun that I recently showed. Works just like a switch blade. It's a new release from Standard Manufacturing. You hit that lever and you have five shots of 22 Magnum. Single action and that lever will lock it up back in place. Nice little backup gun. And over here we've got a North American Arms Pug. Single action as well. Both function similarly. You, you take out the cylinder and load and unload just like that. But 22 Magnum makes for a, a pretty nice backup gun you know it's, they're very light like nine ounces so you, you put something like this in your pocket you don't even know it's there and you have a backup gun with at least one of these models so let me know which category or revolver you prefer the most and remember choose only one and then i'll report whatever happened with the next choose only one video if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.